Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about these uh, building the effective relationship with the subordinates and peers uh, uh, because the whenever we are talking about the uh, leadership effectiveness right uh, re successful leadership then definitely uh, this is a very very important dimension that is a what type of the relationship uh, we are having uh, with the, your subordinates and peers those who are working with you so, in this session we will talk about the supervisor subordinate relations, uh, components of good relationship, uh, responsibilities of supervisor, uh, why do peer relationships at work matter, um, communication and leadership in the workplace, how to build uh, good work uh, relationships, uh, uh, then this uh, uh, Greg Kuna's theory on the span of management, uh, 14 tips for improving your relationship with your boss and uh, as usual the case study research papers and the book recommendations with the references. So, the way, uh, it is a, uh, the uh, many places becoming a very crucial that is uh, what type of the relationship uh, you are having. Uh, I have mentioned that is earlier that is the, the, the people uh, employees they do not leave the organization, they leave their bosses because they are not having the good relationship with uh, uh, their bosses. So, supervisor subordinate relationship should be clearly defined uh, in your workplace uh, uh, as a manager you should be, be a the primary responsibility for building and uh, maintaining a good working bond with the each employee. Normally you see that is the whenever we are talking about the two sides uh, relationship, then the question arises who will initiate first and uh, here it has been clearly mentioned that is uh, who is the su uh, su uh, supervisor or the superior, uh, then uh, senior uh, executive, then he is supposed to take the initiative that primary responsibility for building and the maintaining a good working bond with the each employee. So, good relationship at workplace uh, make work enjoyable and the productive as we know that is the uh, work environment plays a very, very important role uh, for the output of the employees is there. And whenever there will be the good relations is there, there will be the good work environment and when, whenever there is a good work environment, then there will be the definitely the more uh, uh, productivity will be there. According to the Gallup uh, original uh, organization, the people who have uh, the best friend at work are the seven times more likely to be engaged in their jobs. Uh, so, therefore, that is a socialization process. At the workplace, if you are having that uh, cohesive environment and the people they like to come on the work uh, and they, uh, they enjoy the company of their colleagues and uh, the, they do not feel like they are, they are uh, uh, working as an employee, rather than they feel that is the yes, this is the place where I can come and uh, spend my time and uh, I can make my life more uh, uh, pleasurable. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it is becoming important uh, that is the, uh, uh, the workplace should be the attractive and this workplace will be attractive with the help of uh, those who are the working with the uh, employees, they are very supportive and uh, they, uh, these, uh, uh, these peers, they are becoming just like a friend. Uh, a good work relationship requires the trust uh, and respect of the self-awareness, inclusion and the open communication is there. So, naturally, if uh, there is no trust right, then definitely there cannot be uh, the good relationship is there. The trust is the basically the root, root of these uh, the good relationship uh, and uh, whenever there is uh, uh, the high level of the trust, uh, the, the bondage will be much stronger and um, uh, as usual the respect is there, but uh, respect is uh, uh, can be the attitude might be negative and the behavior might be positive. So, a person may be giving you the respect, but he is giving the respect because of your position 
or it is because by the by his heart that definitely that will be uh, always uh, no, there will be the maybe there may be the difference is there right so therefore in that case uh, that uh, mutual respect value on one another's input uh, and then the solutions are based on the collective insight wisdom and creativity is there so whenever you are developing this type of this uh, uh, the mutual respect for each other trust is there at the workplace and then definitely in that case a collective wisdom will be developed. So, two minds are always uh, better than one whenever we say. So, therefore, it, it, it will be creating this, uh, the encouraging the more and more creativity is there. So, in here we will find that is the whenever we are talking about this uh, good relationship, uh, the self awareness uh, is very, very important. This means taking responsibility for your words and actions and uh, not letting your own negative emotions impact the people around you. Uh, now, now we, this all we have talked about. Uh, the uh, the attitude and behavior and uh, therefore in that case uh, even uh, the leaders uh, when they are into the uh, uh, negative emotions their mind is into the negative emotions but the people those who are around them they will not let them know that there is a, a negative emotion is there right so uh, it is the uh, always they are having these inclusion so don't just accept the diverse people and these uh, opinions because you see at workplace there are different personalities. Every personality is having his own uh, the heredity, environment, and situational uh, uh, factors, and att different attributes will be there. So, but welcome uh, them with even if they are having these uh, uh, di diverse uh, opinions are there because uh, as we see, there is a conflict. Conflict is uh, not always the negative. Many times, it is a functional conflict is there. When, uh, for example, uh, your colleagues offer different opinion from your factor, their insights and perspective, or the cultural aid into your decision making is there, and definitely there will be something new will be added. So, what is required? The orientation of inclusion is required. Open communication, all good relationship depend on the open and honest communication is there. So, uh, here in communication, I would also like to men um, uh, mention about the selection of the words. That is, uh, what type of the um, words selection do you have? And whenever you are having uh, these uh, um, words uh, uh, and uh, in uh, interaction, then definitely uh, in that case, uh, the people will be happy. And whenever there will be the honest and uh, open communication with the uh, appropriate selection of words, uh, then definitely that communication will be helping you uh, for the um, making the better relationship is there. So, uh, keeping in mind uh, all these dimensions, uh, we now we will try to understand that is the what is the responsibility of the supervisor is there. So, a supervisor's responsibility is including the manager managing the workflow. So, naturally he is responsible for that ultimately what he is managing, he is managing the organization's business and to manage the organization's business that is the workflow uh, he should try. Then the training new hires uh, that is about these uh, those whoever, whoever have been these uh, uh, new hires are there, uh, uh, the recruitment is done and naturally they are new to the organization, they do not know the culture, they do not know uh, about that what are the practices are there. So, therefore, that particular training is required so they they can be the part of the organization creating and managing the team and schedules are there that is a time management and what is expected from them that is a uh, requirement will be communicated to them uh, reporting to the hr and the senior management is there that is the he has joined and therefore uh, and the supervisor will report to the uh, the hr and senior manager about the employees joining uh, evaluating the performance and providing the feedback is there so uh, those uh, who have joined uh, new the organization and uh, their evaluation will be done, performance will be evaluated and then they will be providing the feedback will be provided. So, identifying and applying the career uh, uh, and uh, um, advancement opportunities are there and therefore, supervisor after the joining of the new employees. So, uh, therefore, in that case he is creating and managing the team uh, uh, team uh, schedules and then according to the these uh, reporting to the uh, HR and uh, started with these uh, uh, supporting approach and that supporting approach will be that is the uh, how uh, the uh, performance is evaluated and uh, how that uh, that support is required on the basis of the feedback uh, that is to be provided. 
So, why do peer relationships at work matter? So, good relationship with peers offers a number of advantages not only for the individuals but for the entire organization also. So, increases productivity and performance. Gallup research found that 30 percent of employees say they have a best friend at work and that percentage of workers is reportedly seven times are likely to be engaged in their jobs and produce the higher quality work is there. So, therefore, in that case this percentage of uh, workers uh, which is the seven times is there uh, uh, that, and uh, naturally they will be able to produce the uh, higher quality of the work is there. Always whenever uh, uh, it is not applicable only in at the workplace, but this is also applicable uh, in the family also. So, whenever we, we are we want it is our family members are to be engaged and uh, in that case normally we talk about that particular type of this uh, commitment is required. Um, boost your retention and you want your best employees to stick around for the uh, long haul. So, therefore, they will not leave the organization if they are dissatisfied uh, or are uncomfortable. So, naturally uh, uh, they will leave the organization very soon while here then they will try to be the part of the organization for long period of time. Mere relationship improve the team morale, finally relationship at work uh, keep your team's uh, spirits high and therefore, in that case it becomes important that there is an uh, interpersonal uh, relationship is uh, such a strong. So, that uh, the, the employees those who are working uh, uh, with the bosses, uh, so they have uh, that orientation uh, to have these uh, team moral is there and they will like to work uh, uh, together uh, for the long period of time is there. So, communication leadership in the workplace uh, uh, will be helping uh, to retain the employees and uh, to get the productivity from the employees uh, and that is why it is the leadership skills that what style of the leadership skills are uh, adopted uh, that that is becoming to be very very uh, important is there. And those leadership skills uh, we have discussed uh, much in details in the earlier sessions and then uh, you have to be a productive effective manager because you know that is in a given situation what type of the leadership practices are required. It is enough, en enough to be knowledgeable about the what you do, you must also be able to share your knowledge with the people you manage. So, many times what is happening is that uh, many supervisors uh, they feel that is the they should be the best uh, and that should not be known for others uh, that is uh, how the, they are the best, but uh, that is not the right approach. According to uh, the, the literature whenever we are talking about that is uh, whenever people feel there is not enough knowledge uh, then in they must be able to share knowledge with the people on uh, those who are managing. So, leadership style affect the employee morale, productivity and retention is there and the good uh, social binding and that, that will ask the leader to continue with the organization. To develop the communication skills, good communication skills helps ensure that your staff members understand your instructions and the expectations are there. And uh, many times uh, uh, the subordinates, they are not clear exactly what, what their uh, bosses want. So, therefore, in that case it becomes very important that is whatever the message is there and that, uh, that will be having the good communication skills of the leader and naturally in that case uh, um, he will having that particular uh, 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 instructions uh, from the clear clear cut instructions from the boss and then whatever the expectations are there, those expectations will be fulfilled by the subordinate is there and, uh, they, uh, and uh, the expectation of the boss is also clearly mentioned to the subordinate. The communication leadership in the workplace that is the empower employees is there, empowering employees involve the giving employees uh, autonomy and allowing them to make some decisions uh, concerning their work as explained by the leadership choices there. So, therefore, in that case uh, this uh, empowerment, uh, we, we have talked about leadership and em empowerment, leadership and delegation and therefore, in that case uh, uh, this empowerment uh, and that is uh, giving the autonomy and the allowing them to make some decisions uh, uh, that is the what are the positions. Now, you see there is an organization structure and in the organization structure the every employee is responsible for certain acts and therefore, in that case uh, that has to be explained by this uh, uh, by the leadership choices there. Recognize the achievements, uh, good leaders understand their employees are not only motivated by money, but by recognition for their work. So, this should not be the perception that everybody is working for money only and money will motivate and I will give the money and I will motivate the person not necessary because many of them are working for the recognition for their work. 
because they have made the contribution and contribution is well appreciated. So, therefore, that, that is the motivation is there. So, praise employees that stop meeting and write them notes taking them for their efforts. So, uh, always uh, uh, the superior should apprise uh, the employees um, and write them thanking them for their efforts is there. So, be a role model. So, leader does not uh, uh, just tell employees what to do. So, leadership in the workplace means showing employees how it should be done through the exemplary role modeling is there. Uh, so, uh, definitely in the, these uh, uh, that uh, uh, supervisor is always a leader and that is the how it is to be done through exemplary uh, role. Uh, 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 I, I also want to be like my supervisor and then we find that is that mentor mentee relationship that is a style of this uh, leadership uh, and that that is becoming the very very important because these uh, the subordinates they want to be the uh, to like their bosses. So, how to build the good work relationships? There are steps uh, we can use for the better our, uh, with our relationship with our colleagues. Uh, identify your relationship needs is there. Do you know that why why do you need uh, the others and do, do you know what they need from you? So, understanding these needs can be instrumental in building better relationship. Now, you see every relationship it uh, uh, develops uh, with the uh, with the fulfillment of the needs uh, because if there will be no need there will be no interaction if there will be no interaction there will be no relationship so therefore to keep that uh, particular relationship uh, uh, that first we have to identify that why there is a need for this relationship and when uh, the needs are clear and mutually understandable then definitely in that case that bonding will be the very strong bonding will be there because they understand what the other person wants from them so here uh, it is the always uh, and this uh, type of these uh, needs uh, those which are the instrument uh, um, for the better relationships. Focus on your emotional intelligence uh, by developing your EI you will become more adept at, at, at identifying and handling the emotion and needs of others are there. Now, you see in emotions also there is a give and take. So, anybody is making you responsible for a particular position then definitely then that is the there is the expectation that you will fulfill that uh, particular uh, uh, positions duties and therefore, you, you will be uh, make, uh, giving the satisfaction to your boss. So, therefore, that fulfillment of the uh, uh, that do those duties right. So, that, that is always uh, uh, that is uh, emotional uh, uh, connect is there and whenever there is an emotional connect uh, that person will be responsible uh, for this particular aspects. So, therefore, this handling the emotions and needs of the others uh, uh, that, that will become the part of uh, how this relationship is uh, uh, co continuing into the organization. Now, practice mindful listening is there. So, mindfulness. So, people respond better to those who lis uh, who truly listens to what they have to say and therefore, the dimension of mindfulness uh, which we have kept uh, mm, uh, that uh, uh, understanding uh, in the our uh, previous part also. So, therefore, that mi mindfulness will be uh, uh, giving you that is exactly what is the uh, requirement of your subordinate. Schedule time to the builder relationships is there a possible you could ask a colleague out for a quick cup of coffee and these little interactions take time, but lay the groundwork for the uh, strong relationship is there. So, normally we talk about the tea club is there, coffee club is there and this type of the tea club and coffee cu club uh, and they, they, they are developing these uh, relationships are there. So, when we develop uh, this uh, strong relationship uh, uh, then definitely uh, the, the productivity as we have seen the satisfaction, the employment satisfaction that will be enhancing managing your boundaries uh, but uh, you see that is the always uh, every coin is at two sides so therefore when you are developing the relation uh, but uh, it should not be the uh, hurdle uh, to the privacy of the another person so make time but not too much sometimes a work relationship can impair productivity especially when a friend or colleague uh, begins to monopolize uh, your time so, therefore, in that case uh, when, when, when you are busy and then uh, you are not able to spare the time and somebody is uh, disturbing then definitely in that case uh, uh, you have to tell the person that is that this is the time for your work and then uh, he should excuse you. So, therefore, in that case manage your boundaries is there and the be positive that is uh, contagious and people give it to those that make them feel good. So, therefore, this type of these uh, uh, attitude is there. So, then that attitude is the positive attitude is there. So, uh, at workplace uh, we can uh, develop uh, um, this uh, uh, the good relationship with the positive attitude. 
So, every friend from your boss to the inchan wants to feel that their work is appreciated uh, and therefore, everybody wants the appreciation and uh, so genuinely compliment the people around you when they do something well. And you see uh, always uh, whenever we are having the admiration right. So, from, from, from a child also you can understand. So, when you admire a child, the child repeats the behavior. So, that is a reinforcement of behavior. So, therefore, appreciation also having the reinforcement of behavior and that is a repeat, repetitive behavior will be there and that, that is the uh, psychology of the human being is there. So, we should uh, always appreciate the people for the good work. So, they will repeat that good work and uh, they develop your people skills. So, therefore, in that case good relationship start with the good people skills, uh, HR skills are there and uh, what are these uh, HR skills? That is the uh, interpersonal dynamics relationship relationships in that is a trust, a respect, a friendliness. So, these will be the developing the uh, these, these skills, people skills and that will be develop the great relationship. Now, avoid gossiping um, that is the office politics and gossips can ruin the workplace relationship. Um, if you are experiencing conflict with the someone in your group, talk to them directly about the problem. And um, uh, I also personally feel that is uh, with my experience that is the yes, whenever there is a conflict, uh, uh, then you should uh, um, be able to resolve that particular conflict. So, you can directly ta talk to them uh, about that particular problem. And when you talk to them with the particular problem, uh, then definitely in that case, uh, uh, there will be the mutual discussion. And in on the basis of the mutual discussion, uh, you will find out uh, that there is some some solutions are uh, emerging. So uh, that that is the uh, uh, that is on the basis of the limited talks. So therefore, in that case, uh, if your talks are crossing the boundaries, then definitely that that particular uh, interaction that will become the negating. Uh, negative for you uh, for uh, your uh, impression also and for your productivity also. So, uh, please uh, always avoid the gossiping, but have the uh, positive interaction. Uh, v. A. Greg Yunus, a, a French management consultant, uh, uh, made a study on super, uh, superior subordinate relationships and he developed a mathematical formula to analyze these relationships. So, he suggested that the number of possible relationship increases with the number in the uh, with the number of subordinates, right. Uh, so, therefore, in that case uh, always that is the uh, that uh, this possible relationship increasing uh, always when you are increasing the num number of subordinates. So, uh, Gracima has identified uh, three specific kinds of the uh, superior subordinate relationships in every uh, every organization and therefore, uh, the, he talked he talked about that is whenever there will be these uh, specific kind of uh, relationships, uh, uh, then there will be that will be affecting the uh, uh, supervisor subordinate relationship. So, first is a direct single relationship is there easily and clearly recognized by the individuals who are his immediate sub subordinates, they are equal to the number of subordinates coordinate supervised. So, therefore, in that case always uh, there will be the uh, limited numbers will be there with the boss and with those boss uh, with those particular employees the boss will be able to uh, interact uh, and therefore, uh, always understand that is there is the equal number of subordinates uh, that can be supervised. So, suppose it is uh, the uh, uh, we are having this uh, one, one superior and the five subordinates are there. So, all these five subordinates uh, um, uh, they will be having uh, uh, they equal to the uh, number of subordinates uh, number of five. Uh, so, therefore, in that case uh, that will be the relationship will be the direct relationship will be there. So, uh, the, that number is also has to be uh, restricted. If the number is restricted then you find that is the relationship is also uh, working very well. Now, direct group relationships is there. This means the group relationships between the superior and each possible combination of subordinates is there. So, for example, a manager having three subordinates would have the three direct relationships uh, and represents the number of the subordinates are there. So, whenever we are having these uh, uh, the, uh, the three subordinates uh, and therefore, in that case uh, and then we have to find out that is the what type of the relationship is there. So, mathematically also you can find out that is the how on um, this particular formula uh, that is that works uh, for the identi identifying the uh, relationship is there. 
So, cross relationships are the mutual relationships among the subordinates necessary for the working under the same super superior is there. So, therefore, in that case many times uh, when there is a mutual relationships are good, uh, then, uh, then they with the under the same supervisor uh, there will be good uh, uh, relationship will be there in the followers. So, Grecon has developed the following formula to give the uh, uh, total number of all the three kinds of relationships where n is equal to number of the subordinates is there. So, n is equal to 2 and is uh, 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 to power 2 and plus uh, n plus uh, 1 is there. So, how we can develop uh, our uh, relationship uh, with uh, our bosses? So, here is how to strengthen your relationship with your bosses. Put yourself in your boss shoes. Now, now many times you know expectations. So, expectations are spoiling the relationship, but when, when, when uh, uh, you have the realistic expectations. So, how you will have the realistic expectation that is the whatever the challenges you are facing your boss will encounter that and be prepared to offer the solution is there. And therefore, in that case uh, uh, even uh, if uh, that there is the different type of uh, on the uh, relationship is there. But uh, definitely, uh, they uh, always uh, uh, the boss will be uh, uh, there uh, to uh, offer you the solutions. And when the solutions will be offered, uh, because the boss uh, um, put uh, himself, uh, uh, that is the uh, what is the exactly your requirement is there. Uh, the well, uh, the uh, show the value that is they hired you for a reason. So make sure that you are adding value to the organization and our position there. This is very very important. If uh, you justify your position by your contribution and it is not because of just making the boss happy and uh, doing no work, that, it, that will not be the condition, that is not condition here. Uh, here we are talking about that is those who are hard work and sincere, committed, now they, are, they are doing their uh, jobs right and then therefore, so they, they make sure that is then they are adding to value to the organization and are their position is there. So, that their decision making styles and the, the way the, they are working and they, they are supporting. So, when they are, they are supporting these uh, uh, the organization also uh, with uh, their different colleagues are there to whom them support and then, then they also support to the people those who are from the outside of the organization uh, also. So, therefore, that you, you, you will be able to add the value to the organizations. So, know when and how to communicate uh, with your boss and therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is when to commit and how to communicate that is becoming uh, very, very important. So, employees need to learn how your supervisor likes to communicate and receive communication that is the uh, uh, that is that, that a strong observation is required. And once you understand the personality of your boss, so your communication you tune up right according to the expectation of your boss and therefore, in that case uh, um, that communication will build the uh, better relationship. Get to know your boss personally and bosses are human, so communicate with them to, uh, on a personal level and therefore, many times uh, they will share with you um, if there is any family problem is there or what are their achievements are there, what are their rewards are there. So, what is their gain and losses and they have, because they have uh, developed a, a personal uh, interpersonal relationship. Right? Right. So, may, maybe they may share the professionally only in that is a what type of the relationship they are having, but uh, de, uh, that will always uh, help for the um, better relationship. Get, uh, then ask for the feedback, do not be afraid to ask your boss for the feedback. So, whatever the work has been done, uh, because you see always that what the feedback does, feedback help you uh, to make the things better. So, no one is perfect, uh, but uh, whenever we are getting the feedback and then we and then we are having the ability to improve, improve our competency. So, when we will improve our competency, we will um, on the basis of the feedback, then definitely there will be the better feedback and we will be successful. Offer to help you should ask as your boss if they need to help on any projects are there. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, always uh, you you see that is the whatever the help that uh, uh, the boss needs, right? So many times you see that he may not tell you that is I need this particular help, right? And then, um, but uh, if you identify that is the he is uh, he is in the need of a particular uh, help, then you can provide it particular help. Uh, they keep your supervisor informed. No one's like super sur uh, surprises. So if you are experiencing challenges in your work, uh, communicate uh, those. So therefore, in in that case, uh, uh, if you, you find something difficulty is there, there are certain surprises in your work which were not expected. Then definitely, please communicate to your boss and keep 
PO supervisor informed. Stay above office politics and the gossip is there. So, that is avoid the gossiping. We have uh, discussed this in the previous slides also. That is the, it is very, very important. That is the, we should be communicative, but not gossiping. We should be friendly, but not friends. So, therefore, it is better to never engage in gossip uh, about your boss, nor anyone else for that matter is there. So, whatever the uh, relationship may have, that is the boss, peer, or subordinates, always uh, avoid the gossiping, because the gossiping, gossiping uh, may create the negative perception. So, under promise and over delivery is there that is the never do like this uh, that is the uh, put your best for, uh, foot forward to exceed your boss expectation is there. So, therefore, never say um, which is not possible to do that task or whatever the reasonable time is required that, that you have to mention that is this will require this much of time. So, there is nothing like an uh, uh, over delivery is there and whatever you can deliver say that yes I can. So, there will not be the under delivery. So, uh, here uh, that is the ask for the help and advice as we have talked earlier also that is the whenever whenever you find that is the certain uh, uh, subjects uh, matter is uh, causing you trouble right. So, do not hesitate ask ask for this uh, um, uh, help from uh, so you, either your boss may, may help uh, himself or the, then he will ask uh, uh, to the experts and then those experts will uh, help you to do that particular uh, task which you were facing the problem but uh, don't forget to share do whatever it takes to make your boss look good and uh, naturally wh what is important who is the boss boss is representing the organization so, organization will be happy means the boss will if the boss will be happy. So, therefore, in that case everyone cares about their work reputation or at least they should. So, therefore, do not don't worry that is whatever your boss is uh, uh, looking for a particular help uh, then go ahead uh, to provide him that particular help. Establish a line of open communication. So, if you are honest and communicate openly with your supervisor this will help uh, build transparency and trust in the relationship is there and as we have talked that is the trust is the basic dimension mention which is requiring to be developed into the interpersonal relationship is there to build the trust uh, that is the honesty and transparency is very very important when you are having the honesty and transparency then definitely you will be able to build the trust is there show your boss the respect uh, and the be authentic. Now, this is also very, very important. That is be authentic in your approach uh, that is the yes, I know my job and I can. So, therefore, your boss will be also happy with your work. Now, this is the case study which will be talking about uh, uh, that is the how these problems have been faced uh, and then um, how to develop uh, uh, making this uh, particular personal problem and uh, uh, that that is the uh, becoming the ultimately the business problems is there and how to solve that. Um, this is the research paper suggested um, that is the mediation of the superior subordinate relationship and a climate of innovation on the psychological empowerment is there. So, that we will be discussing. Then the exogenous variables under study uh, were autonomy and openness and then, then this were discussed uh, with a good number of this uh, sample was there and uh, as a result of which uh, uh, this uh, interpersonal relationship uh, uh, that you can find out that is how that can be developed. This is the book um, the power of the friends at work and uh, um, this will be 40 stories about the trust, loyalty and communication which you may find it very interesting right and these are the references as usual for your uh, particular uh, study uh, uh, from this particular topic and for the additional learning also. Thank you.